Saskatchewan has its first privately owned medical simulation center. Healthcare professionals will now be able to practice real life scenarios in a non life threatening atmosphere. Victoria Din has more. About 28,000 Canadians die each year due to preventable medical errors. The privately owned Saskatoon Institute for Medical Simulations is hoping to change those numbers. So the first time a, a healthcare practitioner feels an irregular pulse, it might be on a mannequin, not on a person. So we would much prefer that they practice on this type of environment in a safe environment rather than going out into the real world where sometimes there is risk involved. Also referred to as SIMS, the centre will provide simulations for real life situations. The practice mannequins are equipped with human-like responses and features a computer that controls and tracks their every move. Physicians, often we put a lot of uh, our lives in their hands in the, the different healthcare teams. So now we can give them a lot of opportunity through medical simulation to get better with their communication, their teamwork, their skill set and increase their confidence levels. Hebert and Looning have developed the scenarios from their years of work as healthcare professionals. The situations vary from everyday cases to ones that are quite rare. We can do simulations here in our facility and we also go and do in situ, which meaning we will go right into their environment, uh, into their ER or their OR with our equipment and our mannequin and, and go through an exact scenario. After each practice scenario is complete, SIMS offers a debriefing session based on the data the mannequin collected. One of the best ways to learn is if you don't, aren't seeing it regularly to be practicing it, uh, this is a great way to be able to practice that and be ready for when it does happen. Although many secondary institutions in Saskatchewan offer simulations, SIMS is the first dedicated training space for practice healthcare professionals in the province. Victoria Din, CTV News, Saskatoon.